because uh, I think digitalization and decarbonization are going to have a massive transformation of effect on our industry. We're just seeing the start of that transformation now as new technology comes on stream, as the new engines, burning the, the new fuels are starting to come into operation. So I'll see, you know, between now and 2030, we'll start to see change and that change will accelerate from 2030 onwards. And digitalization will in turn make the ships more efficient, we'll get more autonomy, and the whole thing taken together will be a, a rapidly changing industry from my point of view. I think the industry will look very much like it is today in 2030, but change is, is sometimes under the surface. So we are, will start to see take up of the near zero or zero carbon fuels by 2030. The IMO target is 5% of fuels to be zero carbon. We'll start to see new ship designs taking effect, more digitalization, more autonomy starting to take effect. It will look similar, but you'll start to see the, the impacts of change. And of course our seafarers as well, the, the new contract we must have with them, that social contract, to make sure that they're at the heart of the industry through this transformation. It's so important that they do have a voice. So we have this thing with ICS, we're partnering with International Transport Workers Federation, with the UN Global Compact, the International Maritime Organization, International Labour Organization for a, a just transition maritime task force. And that puts seafarers at the heart so we make sure we look at things like how do we recruit, how do we retain our seafarers, how do we retrain them, how do we get them more engagement with them so they feel they're in control of their careers, they're in control of this transition and they know that they're going to be needed. I think we're seeing ESG is becoming more and more important for companies. They have to get, it's not just about the environment, it's also about the social side and to be transparency in the governance as well. So to get that positive culture, that it starts from the very top. So we need chief executives, we need the boards to buy into completely uh, ESG culture. We need to get it to the ships, to this crews on board the ships as well. The importance of the human elements and those soft skills, which are, which are you know, we're, we're starting work on that. That's part of the work of the Maritime Just Transition Task Force. It's part of the work we're looking at with the STCW revision that's going through IMO, which we are uh, very much engaged with at the International Chamber of Shipping to, to focus not just on the technical skills but also on the mindset that goes with it because that's the only way we're going to recruit and retain the very best people going forward. Come with us on the journey, it's going to happen, be part of ICS and be part of influencing the change that is going to come to this industry now.